Everything for Rosie Mays over the last two years has been a battle. The Sheffield student was left paralysed from the neck down after a road crash just before Christmas 2009. The car lost control and moved onto the side of the road and it flipped over, landed on the roof. Um, and that was when I, I think a few minutes later, I came round and um, realised that I was really badly injured. The car driven by her then boyfriend overturned while he was at the wheel on this road in Dromfield, just a few miles from her home. Rosie suffered a serious spinal injury. Although I knew that it was that, that I was seriously injured, I think until someone spells it out to you, you never really believe that it's going to change your life forever. Rosie, who now needs round-the-clock care, claimed against the driver's insurance company. Initially, they paid some compensation, but then denied liability, forcing Rosie to go to court. I think they were pretty despicable tactics. Um, uh, I think on our reading of the case, and as it turned out, the, uh, the judge's view of the case, was that this was a clear case of liability. So I can only speculate that the reason for bringing this case was to put financial pressure on Rosie. Rosie won her fight with a judge criticising the insurance company for their unreasonable conduct. The decision, though, came as a huge relief for Rosie and her family. The evidence in the case was quite clear-cut in terms of the fact that liability rested with the driver. Um, we were very surprised when liability was denied and very disappointed that it actually proceeded all the way to a trial. No money can compensate for what Rosie's lost, but now she knows her future care is secure. She wants to help others in a similar situation, hoping to spare them some of the ordeal she's had to go through.